Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're asked to find the equation of the tangent line to this curve at this point. First thing we want to do is we're going to adjust this a little bit to get into a form that's going to be easier to take the derivative of. So we're going to have y is equal to, and then x we can think of as just x to the 1. We're going to get in and do the form of a power function as we're normally used to it. And then minus square root of x is just x to the 1 half. And now using the rules that we know so far, we can use the power function rule to find the derivative of each of these. So our derivative is equal to, for this term, the coefficient is one, so you put that out front. You bring the exponent down, so times one, then x to the one minus one, your old exponent minus one. Same thing here. In this case, the coefficient is negative one, Either way, you bring down your exponent, so you bring down the one half, and your old exponent, or your new exponent rather, is the old one, one half minus one. Now we just simplify this. So we have one x to the zero, which is just one times one, since anything to the zero is one, which is just one, minus one times one half is one half, x to the one half minus one is negative one half. This is your general derivative. We want to find it at this point where x equals 1. So you plug in 1 for, for x. Wherever we see x, we put in a 1. So we have 1 minus 1 half, 1 to the negative 1 half. This is 1 minus 1 half times 1 to any power is just 1. 1 minus 1 half times 1 is 1 half equals 1 half. So this is the slope of the tangent line at this point. So if you have y equals mx plus b, equation of a line, our slope m is 1 half. Now we know x and we know y at that point, so we can plug those in to solve for b. So we have 0 for y is equal to 1 half x, so 1 half times 1 plus b. 0 is equal to 1 half times 1 is 1 half plus b. Subtracting 1 half from both, I'll actually just write it up here so we don't run out of space. Subtracting 1 half from both sides. 0 minus 1 half is negative 1 half is equal to b. So our equation is y is equal to 1 half x, with that slope, minus 1 half is your y-intercept. That's going to be your final form. And when you graph these on your graphing calculator in the same screen, what should you expect? Uh, the reason I'm not doing it is because you can't really see uh, the glare from the lights in here. You can't really see the screen of the graphing calculator. But when you graph them, you'll see when this is increasing, the value of the derivative is going to be positive. So when this is increasing, this will be over the x-axis. When this is decreasing, this will be under the x-axis. It'll be a negative value. And when this is equal to, when this is going from increasing to decreasing, so for a parabola, this point, then the value of the derivative is going to be zero. But anyways, as always, thank you for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.